Here and there, curious objects bobbed independently out of the restless water. They were immediately submerged again and sank before Carl's astonished eyes. Boats belonging to the ocean liners were rowed past by sweating sailors. They were filled with passengers, a movement without end, a restlessness transmitted from the restless elements to the helpless human beings and their works. There was also a regulator at one side, and by turning a handle, you could produce the most complicated combinations and permutations of the compartments to please yourself and suit your requirements. Thin panels sank slowly and formed the bottom of a new series of the top of existing drawers promoted from below. Even after one turn of the handle, the disposition of the whole was quite changed and the transformation took place slowly or at delirious speed according to the rate at which you wound the thing around. It was a very modern invention. Ever since Mr. Green's gallantries began, he had been actually surprised by the beauty of which the girl's face was capable, and especially by the brilliance of her lively eyes. A dress which fitted so closely to the wearer's body he had never seen before. Small wrinkles in the soft, closely woven, yellowish material betrayed the force of the tension, and yet Carl cared nothing for her.
and you study all night? Yes, said the student. There's nothing else to be done. For years I did nothing but study, day and night. But when do you sleep? asked Carl, looking at the student. Oh, sleep, said the student. I'll get some sleep when I'm finished with my studies. I keep myself going on black coffee. But how was one to go on sleeping if the boy in the next bed got up in the very middle of the night for a few hours roistering in town before going on duty and washed his face with a clatter and much scattering of water at the wash basin fixed at the head of one's own bed? If he not only put on his boots noisily, but even stamped them on the floor. The building was not very high yet, although the tall scaffolding for the rest of the structure, still without its connecting boards, rose up into the blue sky. Reaching the top of the wall, her mother felt her way cautiously along a wooden partition which served as a railing, and Therese, dozing below, was amazed at such skill and fancied that her mother glanced at her kindly. But in her course, her mother now came to a little heap of bricks, beyond which the railing, and obviously also the wall, came to an end. Yet she did not stop for that, but walked straight onto the top of bricks and fell sheer over them to the ground. A shower of bricks came after her, and then, a good few minutes later, a heavy plank detached itself from somewhere and crashed down upon her.
Carl looked at Green with shrewd eyes and clearly saw that shame over this exposure was conflicting in the man with joy at the success of his designs. At last, he pulled himself together and said sharply, as if breaking into Carl's accusations, although Carl had been silent for a long time, not a word more, and pushed Carl, who had once more picked up his box and his umbrella, out through a little door, which he flung open before him. She was wearing a white dress with a red sunshade. You felt you could eat her. You felt you could drink her up. God, God, she was lovely. I don't know how it actually happened. I was so hungry and I didn't know quite what I was doing. But close at hand, she was even handsomer. So broad and yet so firm everywhere because of the special stays she had on. Well. I couldn't help touching her back, but quite lightly, you know, just a touch. Of course, it's a shocking thing for a beggar to touch a rich lady. I only just touched her, but after all, I did touch her. Who knows where he might have ended? To his great sorrow, he learned from the attendant that both the angels and the devils had already left for the next town on their recruiting squad's itinerary. What a pity, said Carl. I had a friend among the angels. You'll see her again in Oklahoma, said the attendant. But now come along. You are the last. Mm -hmm. 